The reduction of ocean salinity, that is the salt content in our oceans around the globe due to global warming and melting ice caps can lower the salt content due to the influx of fresh water, this would have profound and multifaceted effects on marine life. Salinity is a critical factor in the marine environment, influencing the physiology, behavior, and distribution of marine organisms. Here are some important key effects. The physiological stress. Many marine species have evolved to thrive within specific salinity ranges. A decrease in salinity can cause physiological stress affecting osmoregulation, the process by which organisms maintain the balance of water and salts in their bodies, species like fish, invertebrates, and marine plants may struggle to adapt, reducing growth rates, reproductive success, and survival. For example, many fish have kidneys adapted to either high salinity or low salinity, which is freshwater environments. Sudden changes can disrupt their ability to maintain homeostasis. Altered habitats due to changes in salinity can alter the composition and distribution of marine habitats. Coral reefs, for instance, are highly sensitive to salinity changes. Lower salinity levels can lead to coral bleaching and increased susceptibility to disease. Seagrasses, which provide crucial habitats for many marine organisms, might also be affected, leading to the decline of these vital ecosystems. The overall biodiversity of marine habitats could decrease as species unable to adapt are replaced by more tolerant species, potentially leading to less complex and resilient ecosystems. Changes in Species Distribution As salinity levels shift, species may migrate to find more suitable conditions. This can lead to changes in the composition of marine communities, with some species expanding their range while others contract. Species that cannot migrate, such as those with limited mobility or those that are habitat-specific, may face increased risk of extinction. Predatory-prey relationships may be disrupted as species move, leading to cascading effects throughout the food web. The impact on breeding and development. Many marine organisms rely on specific salinity conditions for breeding and larval development. For example, the spawning and larval stages of many fish and invertebrates are highly sensitive to salinity changes. Reduced salinity can impair the development of eggs and larvae, leading to lower survival rates and potentially reducing the population sizes of affected species over time. This alteration of ocean currents. Salinity affects the density of seawater, which in turn influences ocean circulation patterns. A decrease in salinity can weaken major ocean currents that distribute heat and nutrients around the globe. These changes can have far-reaching impacts on marine ecosystems, including altering nutrient availability and affecting primary productivity, which forms the basis of the marine food supply. As increased hypoxia lower salinity levels can affect the solubility of oxygen in seawater. Combined with increased freshwater runoff carrying nutrients, this can lead to eutrophication, excessive nutrient loading that fuels algal blooms. When these blooms decay, they deplete oxygen levels in the water, creating hypoxic, low oxygen conditions that can cause dead zones where most marine life cannot survive. In summary, a significant reduction in ocean salinity due to melting ice would disrupt marine ecosystems in numerous ways, from physiological stress on individual species to large-scale changes in habitat and species distribution. 
These effects highlight the interconnectedness of climate change impacts and the importance of maintaining stable environmental conditions to support diverse and healthy marine life globally. Global warming and coral reef decline are interconnected issues exacerbated by various human activities and environmental changes. The primary reasons for these phenomena include climate change, destructive fishing practices, pollution, and other anthropogenic impacts. Climate change. The most significant driver of coral reef decline is climate change, primarily due to the increase in greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide CO2. Elevated CO2 levels lead to higher ocean temperatures, which cause coral bleaching. Bleaching occurs when corals, stressed by warm water, expel the symbiotic algae also called zooxanthellae that live in their tissues, losing their color and primary food source. Prolonged bleaching can lead to coral death. Additionally, increased CO2 levels contribute to ocean acidification, reducing the availability of carbonate ions needed for corals to build their calcium carbonate skeletons. As destructive fishing practices, Big fishing companies often use methods that damage coral reefs. Here are a few dangerous fishing practices. Bottom trawling, this involves dragging heavy nets across the ocean floor, which can physically destroy coral structures, disrupt habitats, and reduce biodiversity. Blast fishing, using explosives to catch fish, this practice shatters coral skeletons and kills marine life indiscriminately. Cyanide fishing, this method is when diverse squirt cyanide into reefs to stun fish for collection. The chemical kills corals and other organisms in the vicinity. Pollution from various sources significantly affects coral reefs. Agricultural runoff of pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers from agricultural activities wash into the ocean, causing nutrient pollution that promotes algal blooms. These blooms block sunlight and reduce oxygen levels, stressing or killing corals. Sewage and industrial waste Untreated wastewater introduces harmful pathogens and chemicals, leading to coral diseases and degradation. Plastic pollution, plastics can smother corals, introduce toxins, and physically damage reef structures. As coastal development, coastal development and land reclamation often lead to habitat destruction. Sedimentation, Construction activities increase sediment runoff into the ocean. Sediments can smother corals, block sunlight, and hinder photosynthesis. The destruction of mangroves and seagrasses, these ecosystems act as buffers, reducing sedimentation and pollution. Their destruction exposes coral reefs to more stressors. Overfishing disrupts the ecological balance of reef ecosystems. Removing key species, such as herbivorous fish that control algae growth, allows algae to overgrow and outcompete corals. This imbalance can lead to reef degradation. As invasive species, often introduced by human activities, can outcompete native species and disrupt reef ecosystems. For example, the crown of thorns starfish preys on corals and, when populations boom, can decimate large areas of reef. Natural climate phenomena like El Nino can exacerbate coral bleaching events by temporarily increasing ocean temperatures. While these events are natural, their frequency and intensity are heightened by climate change. Mitigation and conservation efforts. 
Addressing these issues requires a multifaceted approach. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions, transitioning to renewable energy, enhancing energy efficiency, and protecting carbon sinks are crucial in saving our planet. Sustainable fission practices, implementing and enforcing regulations to prevent destructive fission methods can protect reef ecosystems. Pollution control, improving waste management, reducing agricultural runoff, and minimizing plastic use can decrease pollution. Protected areas, establishing marine protected areas, MPAs, can safeguard critical reef habitats and allow ecosystems to recover. Restoration projects, active restoration, such as coral gardening and artificial reefs, can help rehabilitate damaged reefs. In conclusion, coral reef decline is a complex issue driven by multiple factors, primarily human-induced. Concerted global efforts to mitigate climate change, regulate fishing practices, control pollution, and protect marine habitats are essential to preserving these vital ecosystems. The decrease in ocean salinity due to melting ice caps is a significant concern for the global climate system. The melting of polar ice caps introduces large amounts of fresh water into the oceans, reducing their salinity. This change has profound effects on ocean currents, wind patterns, and, consequently, the global climate. Impact on Ocean currents are driven by a combination of wind, the Earth's rotation, and differences in water density, which are influenced by temperature and salinity. One of the key components of the global ocean circulation is the thermohaline circulation, also known as the global conveyor belt. This system is crucial for distributing heat around the planet. It relies heavily on the sinking of cold, salty water in the polar regions to drive the circulation. When the salinity decreases due to freshwater influx from melting ice, the density of the water decreases, which can slow down or even disrupt this circulation. As climate implications, a slowdown or disruption of the thermohaline circulation could have drastic climate implications. For instance, Europe and North America benefit from the Gulf Stream, a warm ocean current that is part of this global circulation system. A disruption could lead to significant cooling in these regions, even as the rest of the world experiences warming. This would alter weather patterns potentially leading to more extreme weather events, changes in precipitation patterns, and shifts in agricultural zones. As wind patterns and atmospheric circulation, changes in ocean currents also influence atmospheric circulation. Ocean currents and wind patterns are interconnected in what is known as the atmosphere-ocean system. The exchange of heat between the ocean and the atmosphere affects wind patterns, which in turn influence weather and climate. Disruption of ocean currents can alter the position and strength of jet streams, which are fast-flowing air currents in the atmosphere. This can lead to unpredictable and extreme weather patterns, such as prolonged droughts, intense storms, and shifting climate zones as oxygen and marine life. Ocean currents also play a vital role in distributing oxygen and nutrients throughout the oceans. Changes in salinity and temperature can impact the solubility of oxygen in seawater and the vertical mixing of water layers. This can affect marine ecosystems, particularly in regions where nutrient-rich deep waters rise to the surface, supporting high biological productivity. Reduced mixing could lead to lower oxygen levels in certain areas, causing 
dead zones where most marine life cannot survive. Human and ecological impact. The implications for human societies and ecosystems are significant. Coastal communities might face increased risks from sea level rise and more frequent and severe storms. Changes in fish migration patterns in this reason why fishing industry sometimes fish in other waters out of their zones. This could impact fisheries and food security. Furthermore, the overall stability of the global climate system could be threatened, leading to more frequent and severe weather events with wide-ranging socioeconomic impacts. As the decrease in ocean salinity due to melting ice caps poses a complex and far-reaching threat to the global climate system. Disruptions in ocean currents can lead to significant changes in weather patterns, impacting both natural ecosystems and human societies. Understanding and mitigating these effects is crucial for adapting to and managing future climate change scenarios if world leaders and the regular man on the street as a people don't come to the realization our problem with climate will increase every year.